Hello, my name is Earl Teets. I'm the founder of the Servants Team Missionary Outreach and uh, also the founder of the Home Business Helper, which is part of that missionary outreach. we got a special lesson for you today. And whether you believe in Jesus Christ or not is irrelevant to the point. The point here is he is the most followed leader in all of time, in all of history. There's no leader in the world that has been followed as heavily as this man was followed. So if you want to look at success principles that count, the ones that he taught are the ones that have proven over time to be the most successful with each generation that walked the earth. So listen to what I'm about to share with you. And I'm just asking your permission to, to be honest with you, to be able to share a little truth with you that could help you unlock some doors that may be holding you back. When it comes to sowing and reaping, it's important to understand where are those efforts going to take place. Jesus tells us about the law of sowing and reaping. Some will multiply 30, 60 to 100 fold, and we can find that in Matthew chapter 13, verse 23. So let's take a look at a job. It's sowing seed for income, but is it really going to produce a huge harvest? And you sow your effort for time or for a uh, agreed upon salary for X amount of hours per week. That's your pay. And that's as far as it goes. Can you multiply that? Chances are you can't. You can't take somebody else and give them that blessing because simply you're not the boss. Only the boss can do that. So there's only so far that that income can go. But if you're an entrepreneur, your efforts and your team efforts both pay. Both parties get paid. So th there's nothing wrong with having a team and growing a business. Uh, it helps you. In fact, if you take a look at history, where does history provide the proof of this if we're going to exclude Jesus? Let's just look at his, his law of sowing and reaping and look at where history proved it to be right without a biblical lesson. Let's take a look at that. 3% of the wealth is held in the United States. 3% holds the wealth of the United States. That 3%, they're all entrepreneurs. The 97% are employees. Where do you want to be? So you got to ask yourself, do you want to sow the right seeds to get the complete harvest? Now, I'm not here to tell you to go quit your jobs. A job is a great tool to utilize your position in entrepreneurship to be able to multiply your financial blessing for generations to come. When you have a job, you can't do that. When you pass away, it's over. So think about what I'm saying about sowing and reaping. And one of the things we want to introduce on this video is we have some solutions for you from God's Word. Transformation begins as a conversation with Jesus is an excellent biblical training course for your success at whatever you want to do in life. It's great because it brings solu solutions to stagnant church growth. It brings solutions to how to build a business team if you're an entrepreneur. Uh, discovering the higher power and how to have the relationship with Jesus. It's something a little farther than if you get me out of this, I won't do it again. There's so many benefits for you with this home study course. If you're a homeschooling parent, and you want to teach your kids success fundamentals from the Bible, well, transformation begins as a conversation with Jesus. It's just a great tool to help that get done. And you can find this at 7 freedomcom And if you want to make some money on the Internet and you need a place to start your entrepreneurial career that's proven, that's not a scam, it's free to start. And you can earn your first $20 in 24 hours online. You can check us out at speedwealthproject.com. Thanks for your time today, folks. It's been a blessing. Just ask yourself this question. Are you sowing the right seeds and is Jesus Christ first? When the answer to those questions are yes, you're in a great position. God bless you.